Okay, cool. So what we'll do over the next few minutes, here's what we're going to do since we got everything situated now. We're going to set up our custom audiences. We're going to set up a custom conversion. Those are the two things we're about to do right now. Um, now, in the future, whenever you need to access your pixel, it's right here. Now, some web pages require just the pixel ID, which is what Kajabi requires. They just want the pixel ID, and that's your ID, the 1447. That's the pixel ID. Some web pages, which most, most want are, the code. are, they want the whole code. So the way you get the whole entire pixel code is you click on add events right there, that gray drop down. Um, mm -hmm. Click on that one, add events. So right, yeah, right there to the left, add events. And then you go from a new website, from a new website, install code manually and copy code right there. Mm -hmm. So if anything, go ahead and click the green one, email that to yourself just for the hell yeah, of we, it. Yeah, you I emailed did, right? it to myself last year. Yep. And it was the 1447 that you emailed, right? Pretty sure it was. I, I remember mm -hmm. 1447. Okay, cool. So yep. that's, that's your pickup code. Okay, we're good. So now click on the three lines to the left and let's go to audiences. So we're going to set up our audience. We're going to set up so, a custom conversion. Go ahead. Quick question. How come the pics was only on the Calendly? How come we didn't put it on the... Now it's on Now it's on Kajabi. So it's on both now. But it's only showing Calendly over there until we come over here and actually set up the event, the, the um, event, the aggregated event measurement. So once we set that part up, which is what, what we're going to do in the, in the custom conversion, then you'll see your link over there, your domain. Um, but also, let's let us let us let's, let's double check real quick. Hit the three lines in the top left. We'll come back to this. Let's go to business settings real quick. Let's double check that domain. So business settings, and then to the very very left, scroll down and click on brand safety, and then click on domains. So let's just make sure your domain is over here. Okay, so that's verified. Okay, so you're good. Okay, so. Now, click on Add Assets, which I don't think you need to add anything, but just double check, Add Assets. Okay, yeah, you're good. So cancel. Okay, so now let's just go back three lines, click on Audiences. Let's go straight to the Audiences. Okay, we're going to set up these audiences around the landing page and the thank you page. And then after that, we'll set up the custom conversion around the thank you page. So over here now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it should be a blue yeah so we're gonna we're gonna now we're gonna we're gonna rebookmark it if needed but click on that one create custom audience and so over here where you're gonna spend majority of your audiences where you where you're gonna spend your time setting up audiences um especially with you being real estate it's website and video that's pretty much it you don't need any of the other ones it's website and 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 video um those are primarily where all your audiences will be under so in this case we're gonna go website so we'll go website, um, click on that one, and then hit next. And then now over here, we're going to set up an audience specifically around website visitors only. These people landed on the landing page only. So hit that drop down and go to specific, which is the second one down. Okay. And then we'll leave it at 30 days. And then right there, we're going to take the link, only the domain, not the HTTPS or not, and not even the www, only the link, only the domain. So it's going to be only uh, Skylar Lemons. It's actually not that one. That's that's not it. That's that's not it. Um, where's your actual? Oh, it's the thank you. No, it's the link. Oh no, it's the, uh, um, the opt-in. Other one. You got it. Okay. No mm. Okay. So when you set up custom audiences and custom conversions, it's only around that. You don't need the www. So we're going to grab that and then. Um, Go ahead and paste it in over here. And so now what Facebook's going to start doing is they're going to start putting everyone who landed on this page within the, within the past 30 days, everyone's going to be in this audience. Now, what we want to do, though, is we want to specify. We want to really get specific. These are, pay, these are, these are opt-in page visitors only. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply scroll down. You should see um, audience name. Yeah, I don't see which. It, it looks weird on my end. I don't. Yeah, it's go ahead weird. Give, go ahead and give it audience name. Oh, but you could still see everything. Yeah, go ahead yeah. and click. This is this is this is seller opt-in page visitors only. Mm 
Okay. And then wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Um, we gotta, yeah. Okay. So we got to go back into it real quick. So click on, um, just hit the check mark. Or yeah, click the, click the check mark or the mm -hmm. box. I'm sorry. Check the box and then go edit. And then um, scroll down and we're going to go exclude. So exclude people. So again, it's specific. It's people that landed on this page only. They never landed on the thank you page. And that's where we're going to let, let it be known right here. So scroll down. You clicked on exclude people. So now all website visitors specific. You're going to match the top. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. All website visitors. Hit that drop down. Specific. 30. And now the thank you page link goes right there. Just just the link, just the domain, yeah. right? So go ahead and paste it in there. Yeah, see, so you always want to double click and open it up because you end up copying the whole thing. So just, yeah, perfect. So that's it. Okay, now update audience. Okay, cool. So, but here's what I would do. Click done. Um, yeah, perfect. You put visitors only. Okay, good. We're good. So uncheck that box. We're good. That's an audience you'll always want to retarget. They've seen your ad, they landed here, but they haven't opted in yet. So always retarget them, always retarget them. So now let's create another audience. So hit the blue button, create audience. And then let's go to um, custom audience again. And now let's set up the page or the audience around the thank you page. So this is going to be, um, again, specific, hit the drop down. You'll always hit the drop down and always go with specific. And then 30 is fine. And so now you're going to paste in... Um, you might want to double click it because you got the whole thing again, or you could just hit backspace, whatever. Um, so now this audience are leads. So you'll name it seller leads. That's, that's what this is. Seller leads. Anyone who lands on this page is a, is a lead. So this will now be an audience that you'll always exclude. That's simple, man. So web page visitors always retarget. And then, and then go ahead and scroll down. Um, there's no one to, let's see, where are you at? Go back, go back. You didn't exclude anyone, right? No. Okay, so you're good. So you got that one. But this- Actually, I no, mean, you don't. Yeah, you don't need to exclude anyone. It's just that top one and, and you're good. So scroll down. Yeah, you're fine. Sorry, it's perfect. Create audience. Okay, cool. So this will be an audience, click done. This will be an audience that you'll always exclude. Okay, that's simple. Mm -hmm. And then now, as you start to really roll out, you'll, if you're doing video, that's when you'll start creating audiences around people who are watching your videos. Not the whole thing, but maybe, maybe 15 seconds of it, or maybe 25% of your one minute video. These people watch 25% of my one minute video. That's an audience. I'm going to retarget them. You'll always want to retarget viewers, video viewers. Okay. So as we roll out more, we'll, we'll be doing more video audiences for sure. Um, so now let's get out of here. So that's your custom audiences. That's your custom audiences. So if anything, go into the RE folder, go into the RE mm -hmm. folder and delete that custom audience bookmark. Custom audience, that's custom conversions. Do you have uh, audiences? I have one. So should we create that? Perfect. Okay. So this is right here. This is custom audiences. Bookmark this one. Custom audiences. Perfect. This right here is your money, man. This is what it's all about. 99% of Facebook and Instagram advertising is about retargeting your audiences. That's what this is. So it's all about building up these audiences and retargeting. That's what gives you that omnipresence. That's what gives you that whole vibe of, damn, Skylar, he's showing up in my damn newsfeed every day. This dude don't stop. That's yeah. where that omnipresence comes from because you're retargeting people who are engaging with previous ads, which gives them the feeling of you're everywhere right? When all you're doing is retargeting. So this is what it's all about. So now we bookmark this. Let's, let's hit the three lines to the left and let's go to events manager. And this will be our last one. We'll set up our custom conversion. So now over here, actually, and we have to set up the web configuration, which, which is all part of this. So hover over that blue triangle and click on custom conversion. That blue triangle to the left, um, custom conversions. Okay, cool. So now we're going to create a custom conversion. And this is all based on and all around. Go ahead and click on that one. It's all around the thank you page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to name it. This is going to be seller, seller, um, seller leads or seller guide leads, whatever you're naming it. Yeah, seller guide leads. Perfect. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to click on select your own category. 
that blue link, select your own category. Mm. Right there in the middle, select your own category. And then you're going to hit the drop down recommended and you're going to scroll down. These are all different conversion events. So anyone that's running an ad, they ain't running an ad just for the hell of it, right? They're running an right. ad to either get someone to schedule an appointment. They're running an ad to either get someone to submit an application. They're running an ad to get people to freaking purchase something. That's what it's all about. So scroll up. You got all these other options. These are, these are the conversion events. This is the money. So if I'm running an ad, I'm trying to get people to purchase. If I'm running an ad, I'm trying to get people to, to opt in, which is a lead, right? So in your case, you're going with lead. You're going with lead. So click on lead. And now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the link to the thank you page and you're going to paste it in right there. Okay, cool. So that's your money page right there. The thank you page that goes in, um, paste it in right there. And then you click create. And then now it's going to have us go through this whole web configuration. So click on that one, go to, no, 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 not yet. Go to web configuration. Okay, cool. So now over here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on domain verified. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to click on manage events, edit. And then over here, you're going to click on that um, home. See, that's what it is, man. That other pixel is home snaps pixel. So how to delete them? You you just hit the drop down. Go ahead and hit the drop down and go to custom. Hit the home right snap. Yeah. Yeah. Hit the drop down and go to custom conversion. And then choose an event. No, no, no. Choose an event. And then there's your custom conversion. That's it. Seller guide leads. That's it. Click submit. And then, yes, I confirm. And that's it, man. So that so, other one should go away, huh? Yeah, but even if it doesn't, it, it it's all good because we ain't running, we ain't running that, we, we ain't categorizing that anymore anyways. It's all about this custom conversion. So now click on the three lines to the left and go back to events manager. Okay, so 1447 is where we want to be. Um, and then now go ahead and click on settings um, right there in the middle, settings. Settings. Down, settings, right there, right, right there, up, settings. Okay, and then now scroll down. You're going all the way down to traffic permissions. We'll see it down here at the bottom, traffic permissions, and click on um, click on uh, create allow list. Just click on that, and then let's see what. Okay, so allowed is the Calendly, and then now go ahead and type in yours up there at the top. Search or enter domain. Skylemons.com. Skylemons.com. That's it. And then that next, is. confirm. Perfect. Close. Okay. And now, um, now go ahead and click on overview to the left of it. Overview right at the top overview. And then refresh this page. It might take a couple of minutes for it to show to the right hand side, but it'll eventually show because now we, we allowed it. So it should, it's, it should eventually show to the right. You have calendly.com showing, but it, it will, it will show up eventually um, because now everything's configured. So Scroll down real quick. Scroll. Let's let's go back to settings. Click on settings. This last part, settings again, and then scroll all the way down to traffic permissions. Let's go all the way down, and then um, go ahead and click on um, click on edit. And then the one the only one that's okay. So you're good with that one. Okay, you're good. You're you're good. Hit close, and 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 you're good. So just close this one out. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. You're good, man. So now here's the deal. As you go and run the ad, so click the three lines. Let's go to the ads manager. Let me walk you through this, this beginning part real quick so you can know how it all it all um, um, it all now it'll all now make sense. So as we go and set up the ad, this is what most don't do, man. Most don't do none of that shit we just did. That's what bottom line. Most don't do none of that. They don't set up a custom audience and they for sure don't set up a custom conversion. They're running ads to their bullshit real estate website with all that information and, and it ain't even their pixel, right? So it's like now you're really in position. So now as we go and we smash that green button, click on create. So here's the deal. As we go in and we click on create, yeah, get rid of that blue one. 100% of the time, what you're, well, let's just say 99, 99.999% of the time, it's conversions. It's conversions. 
That's what you're running. You're running conversions. So click on conversions and then click continue. So now as we go in, that is the objective. And that's why I tell people all the time, you can have the best ad, you can have the best video, the best image, the best text, you could be targeting the best location. But if you don't choose the right objective, nothing matters. So in this case, we chose conversions. But before we chose conversion, we had to set up a custom conversion around the thank you page first, letting Facebook know our money page. It's that thank you page. So now as we come over here, you'll always go special ad category, hit that drop down, go housing. And then just um, scroll down and make sure that the, the campaign budget optimization is off. So I'm going to scroll down, off, off. Yeah, down. Right yeah, no, scroll down, scroll down, 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 down. Campaign budget optimization. It's off. Okay, cool. So hit next. So now, now as you come to the second step, which is the ad set, over here, this is where you'll see your custom conversion. So on the third step, we're now on the second step. As we click that blue button and go to the final third step where we actually choose the image or the ad, you don't got to do it now, but that's where we tell Facebook about the landing page. So when they click on learn more, they're going to go to the landing page, but over here, and we do that on, on the third step, but over here on the second step, the ad set step, this is where we tell Facebook about the conversion event. Scroll up about the custom conversion right here, the custom conversion that we just created. Hit that red box right there. So that red box, click inside there, and you'll see your custom or look for your custom conversion. So scroll down, look at that whole list. You'll, you're looking for seller guide leads right there. That's your custom conversion. That's it, man. So you click on that. You got the right pixel. Scroll up. You got the right pixel, which is right there. 14. Give me one second. Okay, so you got the right pixel right there, 1447, and then there goes the custom, your, your conversion event. That's it, man. That's it. So now, now it just comes down to tighten up your pages, that thank you page, for example, throwing a video on there. It comes down to you getting the seller guide. It comes down to you setting up the sequence, the email sequence. Um, and then that's it, man. And then, and then you're ready to start putting out ads. And to keep it simple, you want to just, uh, if, you're, if you're going video, which I don't know if you are, but if you are going video, even if you're going image, start focusing on, on one per week. Like just get, just get in position to, to roll out an, a new ad every week. That's how you want to kind of plan it. You might not have to always set a new ad every week, but you want to get in the habit of having one ready every week. Let me ask you this. So if I get an ad that's doing well, yep. um, should, I, should I reset the budget weekly? No, you're not going to reset the budget. What you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the campaign, which, which that's, wow. that's some ninja shit, which I'll end up teaching you. Once that ad performs and once you have one that's really, really doing good for you, you simply duplicate it, meaning you just take the same campaign and you do it again, okay. um, which I'll show you. That's, that's, all, that's all duplicating ad sets. Okay. And then my next question. So I have SkylarLemons.com. I want to create an email address, Skylar, yep. SkylarLemons.com. Yep. Um, and I haven't done that yet, but I had two questions. So when the emails go out, email sequence, can I make them come from that email? Like Skylar, SkylarLemons.com? Yeah, they, yeah, that should be a, a Kajabi setting. Yeah, for sure. Okay. For and sure. And how sure. do I get that email address, uh, like just in general? Well, you have, it would be, it would be in your, it would be in your, in your GoDaddy. Actually, it wouldn't be a Kajabi setting. Actually in Kajabi, if that's your email autoresponder, then yeah, you would tell Kajabi about that email, but to configure it, it's through where you purchase your domain, which would be GoDaddy. So over here, okay, so how do I, click here. on, um, click on, click on the dot to the top or my products. Yeah. Let's log back in. So anything, any other questions regarding the custom audiences, the custom conversion or anything like that? No, I need to spruce up the website and the landing pages as well as get the email sequence and the seller yeah. guide. And I think that yeah. once I do that, I will be You're good. very good to go. So, Awesome, man.